I'm going to make a chicken dish. I'm going to have thin pieces of boneless chicken breast with some Castello Vitrano olives from Italy. And we have some capers. We're going to use butter. We're going to use lemon and some lemon rind because the oil from the lemon is going to be good. But before I start to show you how to cook the dish, I first thought I'd just show you just a little example of how you would cut your chicken down. And you put your hand here, you can judge the size that you want. You're not going to get cut because you're going against your hand. Your, your hand is protecting. This is dirty. To me, everything's contaminated once I touch chicken. So I'm going to get rid of these. And we're going to throw them away. But we're going to salt and pepper our chicken. I'll come back to show you how to cook it, okay? So we have salt, pepper. Okay, we want to flip it because you always want to season both sides. Then our next step is you can put flour on these and flour does two things. One, it helps to protect the chicken a lot. Not that the chicken really needs it. It would be more important if it was veal, but it gives it a nice little coating and it also will help to make your sauce a little thicker. I use Wonder flour. I used this for 14 years in the restaurant and it, it, it's just the best for fish or meat or whatever you want. So I got a little container here. I could have used a little bit bigger, but I didn't feel like hunting around too much. So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna just put it in here. And that's it, you shake off excess. You always shake off the excess. Got my pan heating to cook the chicken. And I wanted to show you, these are the Castle Vitrana olives. They are one of the best olives you can buy. I've never found them without a pit, and I don't care, because they're worth the trouble. So, I love these, I love Sarniola olives, I don't care what color they are, but these are special. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, just take the olive, any olive that you buy with a pit, you want to smash it. Now, of course, I've washed this knife after I cut the chicken, and if you can notice, I have a different cutting board. I have color-coded cutting boards, cutting boards. So, you want to smash them like this. Because you always want to try to have yourself set up. You know, that's what makes cooking easy. Okay, so <clears throat> pan was getting hot. I, I have a habit, I cook everything on a high heat until I need to cook the inside. So these are so thin, these are going to cook in like a minute. And I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil because it actually, what's in this pan is going to be part of the sauce. And so we want it to have good flavor. So. We're going to take our chicken and see what that's doing and you should hear it Psh. that means kiss the pan so it that means to jump because the chicken like pops when you do it so okay and you don't want to overcrowd your pan so you can do it in layers this is really only two pieces cut like this so it's just enough for two people for dinner let's show you these are getting nice and brown okay and the flour will help to do that you can see so i have all the chicken here waiting to be put back in the pan i turned the gas off so i'm going to pick this up my gas is off you know how hot that is you do not need to keep the flame on. Now you're gonna put your flame on, and if it flames up, it's okay because you're gonna control it, but it won't pop in your face. And so you wanna get, you wanna get the alcohol out of the wine. So you, you wanna start cooking that down a little bit, just to get the alcohol out. I actually wanna get some parsley. Like I said, I like dry parsley, okay? And I'm gonna need a spoon. Okay. Uh, you can scrape that. Look at that, how pretty. Okay. You could strain this technically if you were doing it for more of a presentation, but this is family meal. So you don't have to. But you need to cook it for about a minute or so because then you get the alcohol out. Okay. I'm also going to add a little bit of chicken stock when this is done. We're making a sauce here, that's all we're doing. If you wanted to, and you had heavy cream, 
You can add a little bit of heavy cream in there. You know, cooking's all about you. As they say, cooking all it goes as far as your imagination. Okay, so you can see that's like reduced down a little bit. I'm gonna put just a little bit of chicken stock, because we don't need much. And we're gonna put our olives in. And we have some capers here. Just about a teaspoon of capers. Always rinse your capers because they're a little salty. We're gonna put our chicken back in. Any juice that came off of it. And I'm gonna lower that down a little bit. I'm just gonna make a little bit of a sauce. I like a little bit of parsley, mainly for color. Color. Now we're going to put a little bit of lemon zest. You can use a regular grater if you have one. If you don't have one of these, this is just left over from the restaurant. So I have it. Why not use it? Now you don't want to get the pith. You don't want to get that white. Okay, the white is bitter, so you want to go easy. You just get that, and that's enough. And then we also want to cut the lemon in here. And you want. Squeeze it in nice. You can use a squeezer if you have one, if you want to. Whoops. Then you want to put butter. Like I said, we're not on a diet here now. <laughs> and I want to take this and I'm just going to finish that right in the pan. Get that butter melted in there. So, Got my glass of wine ready to go. Here's the chicken. And here is our roasted cauliflower. I hope you enjoy making this. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like it, please share it. If you make it, please let me know if you like it. So, cheers to everybody watching and cheers to everybody staying safe. Take care.